spre ce sunt orientați directorii financiari din România, mai mult spre protejarea și optimizarea valorii companiei în 38% dintre cazuri, decât spre creșterea valorii ei, situație în care se regăsesc 24% dintre ei. Sunt rezultatele EY CFO Survey care arată că pe viitor ar trebui să pună mai mult accent pe activitățile de creștere a valorii companiei și mai puțin spre protejarea valorii ei. De ce nu reușesc? Dedică prea mult timp aspectelor contabile și în loc să se axeze pe oportunitățile din spatele datelor financiare. Se tem să nu omită plata unor taxe și ratează conjuncturile de creștere. Vor să fie corecți și nu mai pot fi creativi. Directorii financiare ai companiilor listate la BVB au salarii anuale cuprinse între 32.000 și 274.000 de euro. So the, uh, the CFO in Romania today is still very focused on ensuring the quality of accounting, but that's the basis for tax and you don't want to actually uh, miss your tax declaration. And about the controls and ensuring that everything is clean in the accounting side. And when you do that, you do not invest time to support the business with all the data you have. You are very focused on protecting the value, uh, as you said earlier, instead of wondering maybe how should I provide more decision-making points to my CEO, for instance, to my shareholders if they need to take an investment decision. Lots of the CFOs I've met in Romanian companies are actually former chief accountants. You cannot ask them to change their mindset just because they changed the title. So the CEO should bring them the possibility to actually hire someone from financial controlling, for instance, and ensuring that my understanding of my business as a CEO, my storytelling about my business as a CEO, and what I see happening in the market with my clients, with my suppliers, etc., is reflected in the financial data, is reflected in what I produce as financial data. And then... Once I have this, I can start thinking about doing forecasts. I can start thinking about, I don't know, giving up on some clients, for instance, because they are very demanding, but I don't do any margin with them. It's a switch. And as of today, this kind of decision is brought by, uh, by the CEO, not by the CFO. In most of the cases I've seen, actually, it's not what they want to do, it's that they have to do.